Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. Memorial Day and the Indianapolis 500 are in the rearview mirror, and that means the start of the summer travel season. In 2015, visitors set a new spending record of about $11.5 billion statewide. The Indiana Office of Tourism Development just wrapped up a road trip with Midwest Living Magazine that started in Jeffersonville, crisscrossing the state for nearly 500 miles from the Ohio River to Fort Wayne's Three Rivers. And for more on the outlook for Hoosier Tourism in 2017, I'm pleased as always to be joined by Tourism Executive Director Mark Newman. Mark, welcome to the program. Thank you. Uh, when we talk about tourism, I think people are beginning to understand if they haven't already, this is big business, an 11 and a half plus billion dollars to the yeah. state. Yeah, it, it really is huge. And when you consider it from the pure uh, GDP perspective, $8.7 billion of that purely in Indiana GDP, another $1.4 billion in, uh, in tax dollars. So it's significant. Talking about momentum uh, in the tourism space, uh, other states have funded tourism efforts to a greater extent than Indiana has. But at the legislative session this year, movement uh, in, in terms of a study committee to really look at the industry. Yeah, I mean, coming off of uh, you know a record-setting year, uh, the momentum that we have created, I think uh, the, the legislature in its wisdom is saying now, hey, how do we look at this so that we can be assured that if there really is economic opportunity, we need to nurture it, we need to cultivate it. So a task force is going to be creative that does exactly that. Looking at best practices from other states, seeing what Indiana is doing, how do we merge the two, or the two so we have really uh, an optimal performing tourism industry. You are just off uh, a statewide tour, I think 10 stops, which is really a unique opportunity because Midwest Living Magazine, some writers were along with you for yeah. that trip that really touched on a lot of things. Yeah, we were looking for a way to create new content for Indiana and at the same time, we we were looking for that Midwest Living was doing the same thing. So this concept of a road rally emerged. Uh, we partnered with Midwest Living to do it for the first time ever. I think it's something that they may want to franchise right. in the future, uh, but it gave us the chance to really highlight some of those tremendous assets, those bur burgeoning destinations across our state. They're doing a fabulous job of attracting people. Any, anything stand out from that? That was a lot, 10 stops. We hit yeah. a lot of places. Anything well, stand out? Yeah, you know, so we started out in uh, Southern Indiana along the Ohio River and one of the the great experiences that the the writer that was with us talked about uh, at the conclusion was visiting a Huber winery visiting their distillery and have, having the opportunity to actually taste uh, bourbon from the barrel mm -hmm. it was a neat experience it's one of those probably uh, little stories but I think it had a big impact you know I know uh, that you have been focused and the organization has been focused on really some some specific areas of tourism and developing some new areas food and egg uh, uh, the, the food tourism, if you will, uh, yeah. around the state. How is that effort going? And what do you hope to accomplish by engaging some of these smaller communities around the state? Yeah, well, it, what, what it's going to do for smaller communities, the ones that have these wonderful local restaurants, it gives them relevance to a broader uh, tourism industry. It en enables them to uh, take advantage of a piece of that pie, if I can use mm -hmm. that pun, um, and bring visitors to their communities, but also enhance the quality of life for the residents there. Uh, Indiana is, is a state known as growers. We're also a state known as feeders. We have tremendous local restaurants and wonderful dining profiles across mm -hmm. the state including down in Jeffersonville, making it on its way all the way up to uh, the Indiana waters of Lake Michigan. Yeah, it'll be interesting to watch that uh, unfold. Also, a uh, film. I know that's been a focus yeah. of, of you and others in trying to attract more film and, and, and production uh, in the state. Yeah, it's hard to believe, you know, we're uh, entering the 25th anniversary of the film A League of Their Own. Uh, in Indiana, the film industry is about a $230 million business for us. So it's significant, but we happen to be the smallest of uh, the Midwestern states. So there's tremendous growth opportunity there, and I think um, uh, what we see is a platform being created. This anniversary is an example of where we can begin uh, using a megaphone to tell the story of Indiana production and how we can engage in the film industry and make a meaningful contribution. I know we're having a celebration in Huntingburg where we did our show a couple of years ago. That's and that, right. was, that was a lot of fun. As we wrap up, I know you're doing media blitzes. You're focusing on specific markets. Yeah. Uh, you did so in the spring and are about to do so in the summer. What markets are you really targeting? Yeah, so we're hitting Chicago, Cincinnati, Louisville, St. Louis, Indianapolis. 
Minneapolis is important for us as well. Uh, each of those uh, markets are getting some special attention from the Office of Tourism Development so we can drive people to great Indiana destinations. Mark Newman, the Indiana Office of Tourism Development. A lot going on. Uh, will be uh, interesting to watch it unfold this summer and have yeah. you back on the show. Sounds good. All right, thanks. Well, thanks for watching Inside Indiana Business on YouTube. For the latest statewide business news, be sure to visit InsideIndianaBusiness.com and subscribe to our free daily e-newsletters by clicking on the link.